What's up everybody? In this video I'm going to show you how to quickly get your data from your tables in ArcGIS Pro over to Excel so you can send it to other people. For those of you still stuck with ArcMap, here's how you used to do it with ArcMap. You select the records you want to export and then come over here on the left side of the table and right click in this area here and select Copy Selected. Then you go over to Excel Right click where you want those records to go and select paste. It was that easy. They changed that a little with ArcGIS Pro. I have some lots selected and this table is open and I'm using the show selected records option. You can do it two ways. One is you can click this copy selected button or you can hit control shift and C. Let's click the button first. You hit copy selected and then you head over to Excel right click and paste. It brings your records across. Or if we hit the keyboard shortcut of Control Shift C, then head over to Excel, right click and paste. Quick and easy way to get records from ArcGIS Pro over to Excel. There are some limitations here. If you have a lot of records selected, Excel can't handle a lot of records, so I went up to 2,000. I don't think I got much higher than that, and that may be just some of the quirky things with Excel. If you do need to move a lot of records over, you can use the geoprocessing tool called Table to Excel. I just did a search for it here, and if you see this symbol, that means it's a script tool. And a handy thing about that is you can right-click the tool and say Edit, and then it will open up an idle window with the code so you can see how Esri did that. It's kind of a handy thing if you want to look at some sample code, but if you need to move a lot of records, use this tool and it'll get more records across. Another thing of note is if you're viewing all records, they label the buttons. They don't just give you the buttons, so they have a label on there. I think that's because in the selected record view, they have these highlighted buttons, so maybe they don't think they have enough room to label everything. That's what I think. But if you're viewing selected records only, there's the copy button. You can see you hover over it and it tells you what it is and gives you the keyboard shortcut. That tip helped you out. Go down and chop that like button for me. That it helped me out. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do so and hit that notifications bell. That way you know when I put out a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.